Hey everyone. So I'm gonna apologize in advance for the noise in the background. My business partner over here is um, hard at work chewing on a bone. So um, anyway, I just wanted to jump on because I just did a series on my YouTube channel where I'm giving examples of hypothetical people. Um, I grabbed strengths from previous clients and applied them to a completely different situation to try to provide some um, insight as to how they show up in our lives. But what I'm gonna do now is give an example of how my strengths are at play with a particular situation as another um, reference point for an example. So when I get together with friends and we just have a chat over coffee or lunch or on the phone, whatever it might be, and um, somebody starts telling me about something that's going on in their life, particularly something that might be worrying them, stressing them out, frustrating them, um, con they're concerned about whatever it might be as us you know, women and friends tend to share with each other. So I have noticed um, that I immediately try to offer solutions. I jump in to, um, provide my outlook, my perspective, um, maybe based on some of my own experiences, maybe something I've read. Um, I lean into their strengths if I know what they are and help guide them through this particular situation that they're dealing with. And I do that because it's natural for me. It's, it's what I do. It's me honoring my strengths activator. I'm quick at like, let's pull you forward in the direction that you want to go. You're feeling stuck right now. And I have empathy after that. I feel that stuck with you. And if it's driving me crazy, it's got to be driving you crazy. So let's do something to move forward. Um, I communicate. So I'm going to, if it comes to my mind, it comes out of my mouth typically. And I love to share what I'm thinking or feeling. And I don't have self-assurance high. I don't think I have all the right answers. I just have to share what my thoughts are. And then um, connectedness, you know, if, if it works for you, great, that's awesome. Um, if not, you know, everything happens for a reason. It's all meant to be. I don't share my ideas and my thoughts with someone because I think they need to go apply them. They do what they want with them. It's in their court and what they, whatever they choose, they choose. I don't get flustered by that one way or another. I don't take offense to it if they don't um, take my advice. So um, anyway, just going through some of these strengths. And then of course, restorative is high. That's problem solving right there. I hear a problem. I've got to dig into it. I've got to come up with a solution. And then positivity is after that because Ultimately, I just want everybody to feel good. I just want everybody to, to enjoy life. But I realize that that isn't going to happen until you deal with what's actually going on. If you jump straight to that and you bypass everything else, in my mind, you're not really living in reality or authentically or whatever it might be. And again, other people's strengths show up differently. So it depends on where their strengths line up as to what authentic looks like for them. Just because it looks a certain way for me doesn't mean it's right for other people. So then what happens is after I have this conversation with somebody, then I come back home and sometimes I feel really good about it and sometimes I let my bottom strength show up and I let context take over, which means I go back and I go, it, the past is the past, whether it happened two seconds ago or it happened 20 years ago, um, it's still the past. So I look backwards and I kind of dwell on and I'll go over in my head what was said, what was talked about. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Did I do that right? Um, did I offend? And then I start questioning. And then I drop right into that deliberative strength of overthinking. And then I'm like, oh, no, what if I did the too much? Not enough. Da, da, da. And I overthink the whole thing. And I'm like, what if they're upset with me? And then that plays into my number one strength, because ultimately, I just want us to have a good connection. I want to be liked and I want to be liked because 
I have contributed in some way to you feeling good about you in this situation that you're dealing with. Um, and so, and then competition can show up sometimes where I compare myself like, oh, um, I, sh I shouldn't have done that because other people don't do that or um, I'm not qualified enough to give this kind of advice to somebody or whatever it might be. I start comparing myself to other people then and, and, and that can be tough. So, so then I have to go back into my core strength, my compass, which is my connectedness, which is again, letting things go as they're supposed to go and let go of the control of it. I can't control how somebody else is going to feel about me being me. And I can't control what they're going to do about it either. I can only control myself. But saying that, the self-intelligence process that I've realized that help with all of these strengths. So I'm aware of these things of myself. I never used to be. I might have noticed them, but I didn't know how to connect to them. I didn't have the next step, which is understanding. I didn't understand that. These things are actually my gifts. And this is how I do things best. And they're really things that I should lean into instead of beat myself up for or think that I should change them in some way. So now I've learned to accept them about myself and say, okay, I accept them. I'm hoping that the people that I choose to spend my time with accept them about me as well. And then we go to the next level of embracing them. So, okay, even though I might question some of these things, I know that this is how I am authentically. And so I have to take the approach of you either love it or you don't. And that's up to you. And it's okay either way. I need to lean into it for myself though and love it about myself. I love the fact that maybe in all of my offerings, you've gotten one little nugget out of there that's gonna help you in some small way. Oh, that lights me up. That makes me feel um, so good about myself that way. But the main thing that comes down to is managing. So just because I feel for you and I have activator and I want us to move forward and I am solutions based and need to dig into the problem and come up with and verbalize and share with you my solutions so that in hopes that we both feel amazing at the end of our time together. Um, and there's some other ones in there too, but this is just kind of a, an overview of it. I also need to learn how to manage that with other people just because it's my process and the way that I do things the best and what makes me feel good when somebody, you know, offers me this too. Um, it doesn't mean it's for everybody. And so what I need to do for the management piece, instead of try to make myself small or play down who I really am or think I should change myself in some way or God forbid, like I usually do, beat myself up about it, I need to ask questions. Especially since I have influencing strengths high. Us influencers, we need to ask questions first. Hey, I understand that you're going through that and that must be really frustrating. Would you like my take on it? Would you like me to offer a solution for that? Oh, can I share an experience that I had that's similar to that that you may find some help or benefits from? If we ask those questions first and then go about it, we're not, as I tend to do, fire hose. <laughs> we're not fire hosing people with a bunch of information that they might not want. And we have to realize that not everybody else has the same strengths we do. They don't do things. They don't see things. Even though that we, they might be able to have a perspective, which I just did a podcast episode on the difference between empathy and perspective. Um, but they have their own way and they may not take as much, um, they might not have as much appreciation for our way. So ask questions. And see, if you're an executor and you're all about getting things done, ask the questions first. Hey, 
does this work for you? Would you like to try it like this? Whatever it might be, um, all of our strengths can benefit from asking people questions first. So if you wanna know what that looks like for you, reach out to me and I'd be happy to go through it with you and see. And for all of you that I have <laughs> fire hosed or forgot to ask the questions, cause I'm still learning this just like we all are. Um, it's a process, there's no perfection. Um, then please just understand that I have the best of intentions and it's me honoring who I am and I'm, if I don't ask the questions next time, please remind me. All right. Thanks, guys.